Hello, my name is Don and welcome to episode 39 of my Football Manager Let's Play with Blackburn Rovers. Today we have the next round of the FA Cup against Watford. Only made a couple of changes, I've brought in Ben Gibson for Digbu and I've brought in Sean Cunningham for his first game of the season in place of Riyad Abudibus. It's only been a couple of games since the last episode when we played Everton. We look, beat Middlesbrough 4-1, Budaboos, McDonnell and Ali Crawford getting a brace. Then lost 2-1 unfortunately to Chelsea, Gonzalo Higuain with an 85th minute winner, Paul McDonnell and Higuain scoring the other goals in that game before beating Leicester 3-0. We're 2-0 up before they had a player sent off and we scored one more via Matthew Knox. Matthew Knox sadly got injured after this game in training though, so I was going to play him today but unfortunately it's not going to work. So the team for today only changes is Ben Gibson's in for Digbu and Sean Cunningham getting a rare run out. Uh, Marsden on the bench as well because he's our only striker that is fit out with the front two that are playing today, Lee Gregory and Matthew Knox both injured. Uh, I might have actually gave Lee Gregory a run out, should he have been fit, and I was tempted to give Matthew Knox a run out as well. Unfortunately injury has prevented that. Oliol also injured, again another player that might have got a run out, but I want to take this cup seriously so I don't want to make too many changes. Got six days before the next game so there was no real stress on resting too many players so happy days with that, uh, tell them to go out and get their fans their money's worth and we will give them, f tell them we've got faith that it's not worked really at all in any real way, shape or form there, so it's like another cup game, want to go deep in this cup, we've not had a whole lot of cup games in this series, um, but we'll see how it goes, the other thing that I had was, I was unsure about whether staying with Blackburn and, uh, and between staying with Blackburn building on and taking them forward or moving to a club that wasn't in England or Scotland. I put a Twitter poll on, I'm not going to show you it, but basically it finished 50-50 uh, in terms of what people wanted, so I couldn't decide, I said to let everyone else, well you guys, if yours decide. We got a decent amount of votes and it finished exactly 50-50. So uh, no further forward on what I'm going to do. I think we're going to stay with Blackburn, but what I might do is have a mini series just to break it up a little bit. Um, I had a mini series as an idea anyway. If we're moving abroad, just to pass the time until we found another job. So I might just do that, break it up, and just you guys, please let me know your thoughts on that down below. Mini series, I won't say too much about it just now. So base it on, it could be anything. Uh, but what I promise you is it will be a season long at most. Uh, so maybe five, six episodes. Just a little mini series, just something that's a bit different, a bit of fun. As Sean Cunningham breaks into the Watford half year, but doesn't find a pass and Callis takes it off him. <clears throat> also struggling a bit with uh, sort of what I would call a mild cold. Doesn't seem too bad, but then there's a cough and some my voice isn't great so I do apologise guys I hope you understand I will try and do my best uh, Paul McDonald's touch wasn't the greatest there Sean Cunningham can't get it and Pereira nicks it off him he's having a bit of a difficult game Sean Cunningham he's a player I had a lot of hope for but his potential seems to be dropping a little bit so I might look at just selling him in a couple of years see how it goes what kind of wages he's looking for uh, Troy Deeney hits the post Bit of a scramble to get it away, eventually Joshua does. Crivelli does well to keep it in, but unfortunately only keeps it in for the Watford player to steal. Penarada, Coupe, Troy Dini, back to Coupe again. Penarada, Troy Dini, Coupe, I'll back to him again. Messina, Joshua with the strong tackle taking it off the Watford player there. So, yeah, basically just let me know what you think about this uh, potential of a mini-series. It would be at the end of the season, uh, before next season. Again, it would only maybe be a week's worth of episodes, but it just breaks it up. I'm enjoying this series, and that's why I'm unsure, because I went through a phase where I just wasn't enjoying this series, and I don't know if it showed on the recording, but I want you guys to be able to enjoy it as well. And if I'm enjoying it, the more you're going to enjoy it. So, that's what I was thinking about moving on. But this season's gone on, I've started to enjoy it a lot more again. And I do like Blackburn, I have enjoyed managing Blackburn, so that keeps me wanting to do more. But then I go through, and it's been two or three times I went through a phase where I was just like, 
loading a game feels like a chore and I don't want that to become the case um, so that was for a little while when we were in the championship I talked about ending the series if we didn't get promoted trying to keep it fresh we've got promoted and my worry is, is it's the same sort of stuff and that's what's putting me off but if we break it up with maybe a mini series is what I was thinking and I do have an idea for that as I said it would be a season long maybe five or six episodes at most but again I want to hear what your guys thoughts are on that because I don't want to do it and then put you guys out of place that enjoy this series uh, even though it would come back just maybe a week or so later but again I understand that people don't always want to wait a week the other thing is, is I've done my first ever experiment the other day it got uploaded on Wednesday if you haven't seen it already go check it out it was just a little bit of fun uh, Derek McInnes is Scotland manager got results I wasn't really expecting but again just go and check it out it's only five minutes long uh, I hope you enjoy it and any feedback on that would be hugely appreciated because I've never really done any experiments before. I've got another couple of ideas, maybe ones that are a bit harder to set up and will sh show different results compared to what I'm maybe expecting. But it would be nice to, again, just get some feedback and hopefully you guys enjoy that because I do want to do more of those kind of things and I know there has been people that have asked me to do them in the past and it was always something I was interested in doing. It's Paul McDonnell bursts through. He's just got that little bit extra pace that compared to what Jason Cummins had, which gives him that extra yard to get those shots off. And I think the fact that he's right footed helps as well. Don't know why I've always struggled with left footed strikers, and we've had a few of them on this series. Jason Cummins had a phenomenal first couple of seasons, peeled off after that. James Wilson struggled. We've not really had a prolific striker now until Paul McDonnell this season. Paul McDonnell was always on. I was never sure about breaking him in and I just gave him the chance this season because we had no other options really is. That's a great save from David Ryan, cleared away by Ben Gibson. So he's broke in, he's taken his chance brilliantly and now I don't even know if I want to replace him. I know I want other strikers but him and Matthew Knox in particular have been really good this season. So I don't, I think it's more the other side that I need and let them two battle out long term for that sort of advanced forward role. Jeremy Pied. Sean Cunningham, not having the best of games here, but he's doing okay. He's in just for a bit of game experience, rest Buda Boo's a little bit. Gabby, clears away. Troy Dini, it's an over the top ball for Penanda. It's chased well by Scott Wharton, who just puts in a big challenge. His clearance is god awful, though, as Kapui picks up Pereira. It's well wide <coughs> from Pereira. Uh, going forward with this series, uh, signing wise, what we need. We need a striker, we've mentioned that. I think we need a box to box midfielder, but I'm maybe thinking of changing that up and having a different uh, approach to that. Uh, elsewhere, a left back would be useful, one that can come in and compete with Charlie Taylor. And I would say a right back, but we've got so many good young options that are developing that I feel right back isn't that essential and maybe another ball winning midfielder uh, just to again rival with Joshua because I know we've got the lad on loan just now I uh, can't even remember his name, Castellini or something like that we've got him on loan but I feel there's a big difference from him to Joshua when they're in the team particularly you'll see it in this game I feel when we bring Joshua off for him there's a we don't play anywhere near as well Joshua's just okay well we're not bringing Joshua off because Joshua's just got himself sent off well done Joshua mate off the ball challenge no need for it, Sean Cunningham's going to come off for Casadini. that's the guy I'm talking about but I don't feel he's anywhere near as good now obviously we've got 10 men so you're going to see the difference even bigger now uh, as much as Sean Cunningham's the guy that was coming off and he hasn't had the best of games still feel you'll see defensively them having more attacks and not getting broken up as well without Joshua even though I'm extremely angry they got himself sent off. I knew he was on a yellow, but the challenge was so needless. He wasn't even on the ball, mate. One of those things, though. Gabby. Pereira. Dini. Coupe. Etienne Capu even. Coupe. Don't know where that came from. It was muscled out by Scott Warren. Anyway, I think we're going to make another change soon. Give it another 10, 15 minutes. And what I'll probably bring off, as I'll do, is probably bring off Crivelli and bring on... 
Ali Crawford, just give us an advanced playmaker role and put uh, Paul McDonald more central as a complete forward on attack. He can do that role. He's not the most comfortable in it. It'll go red, but I think it would offer us more team balance. As Troy Deeney threw again, strikes, hits David Rea, who, with a good save, I think might come just an advance forward. Debating that, we'll decide at the time. And it goes Ben Gibson away. Cleared. Paranda. Jay Fulton cleared it. Closed them down, but he gets it away. Casarini tackles Gabby. It's just sort of delaying his decisions just now. Bit slow for me. Could have had a counter attack there, but it doesn't happen. Gabby, his ball was blocked by Ivan, the man who just took it off. Capu. Gabby. Troy Dini. Should be Scott Warren's all day, every day there. He plays it to Ben Gibson. David Ivan, Charlie Taylor, over the top for Paul McDonald. He's got the pace on Gary Cahill very easily, but he's not got the distance there to use that pace. Cravelli's done sensationally though, and here is Paul McDonald straight at Ruffier, a very, very good goalkeeper. The Frenchman, he plays it out to Callis, and we're going to make that change that we're talking about now. So Paul McDonald's going to come into this central bit. Cravelli will fall back and we'll bring on... Okay, I've not got anyone on the bench for that position apart from Budaboos and Martin Gibson. Actually, we'll go with Martin Gibson. Just give Budaboos the complete rest, I think. We can always bring on Budaboos later on for Ivan or something as an option should we want to bring him on. Here is Ivan. Paul McDonald. Cravelli. Jeremy Pied. He's tackled, but it falls kindly for Cassadini. Ivan. Cravelli. Paul McDonald. Cravelli. Back into David Ivan. He's hit it so close to Ruffier. Ruffier doesn't even react to it. And it hits him. It's a poor effort from David Ivan. As forward it goes again. David Ivan. Can't win it in the air. Paul McDonald first to react, though. Back to Ben Gibson. McDonald heads it down. Ivan. Ah, it's a poor ball from man who I had such high hopes for. He's had a couple of good games recently, but it's nothing outstanding. I think Leicester game, he was extremely good. Here he is again. Finds Paul McDonald, who does a good turn. Strikes. Never going to trouble the goalkeeper, that one. And that's the end of that highlight. The changes will be made now, so we're going to a 4... Uh, sorry, a 3-5-1 is the way I would word it. The game will call it a 5. 3-1 or something. Uh, here is Ivan again. Martin Gibson, the man who's just came on. Paul McDonald. Beautiful. He just he couldn't turn inside, so he turns on the outside, goes round, and just slots home nicely. Martin Gibson with the assist for Paul McDonald, the man who signed from Airdrie to the guy who came through our youth ranks. I think it was actually a shot by Gibson that deflected very kindly for McDonald, but he's getting the assist credited. Rufi maybe could do better. But Paul McDonald was not going to complain that number 99 putting on a big stake to get that one of those nines taken off his shirt for next season. We're going to bring off Budibu, uh, bring on Budaboos now for uh, David Ivan. We'll bring Martin Gibson back into the box-to-box -box role and push Budaboos further forward into the advanced playmaker role. Bring on who is, in my opinion, our best player right now. We've seen such a big difference with him in the team to not being in the team. And I feel he has been a big reason for our form turnaround. It's bringing in a big player like that with just that little bit of magic. Here he is on the ball. Bursting away. It's a lovely ball. Whoa, ref. I thought he goes through the man before he gets the ball there. The game's an excellent tackle. So we'll give credit where it's due. Ruffier picks up the ball before Paul McDonald can get there. Ben Gibson to Martin Gibson. Can't win it in there. Pereira. Capui. Eating Capu even. Manny. Goes down the left-hand side. He's followed by Pied. Rea's not done a good job there. Troy Deeney runs it out of play, though. So we get a goal kick out of that mistake from David Rea. Worked out fairly well. 2-0 up here at Ewood Park with 10 men. I'm very happy with this result. It's another march forward in the Cup. I know teams don't always put their strongest teams in the Cup, but I feel this is fairly close to a full-strength Watford team if it's not a full-strength Watford team based on what I've seen of them in the league. Jay Fulton getting the better of Troy Deeney there. Back to David Rea. Forward to Scott Wharton. Casarini. Jeremy Pied. I thought he'd done Galway there, but he's tackled again. He's 
doing it all he can. He was a one-man army against three of them there. Doing his best. Couldn't do enough though. Pereira. It's a decent effort from Pereira. Just over the goal from David Rea. Goal kick to Blackburn. My voice feels like it's good just now. I've recorded a few Motorsport Manager episodes today. Had a couple of phone calls to make. I feel like my voice is now at the point where I need to stop recording. But I've got so much more to do. I want to get at least another episode of this recorded today. It's Troy Dini heads it wide. So I'm hoping my voice maintains through. Jay Fulton with the free kick deep in our own half. Plays it to Ben Gibson. He's had a solid game today. Forward to his namesake, Martin Gibson. Back to Ben Gibson. He's got Charlie Taylor ahead of him, but he's going to be forced to play it back to David Ray, I think. Indeed he does. Ray launches forward. Budaboos anticipates that missed header well. Can't get further forward. His pass to Pied was not read by Pied, and Manny ran a decent distance to get to that. Here is Manny. Bursting forward, that's a great ball into Pereira. He's selfish though, and David Rea will hold on to that well. I feel like Watford are now attacking us a bit more, but I feel we still have that bit of danger. I'm not going to change anything. I know we've got 10 men, I know they're going for it, but I feel we've got this. We've got a two goal cushion. If they score one, I will go a bit more defensive. Budaboos to Charlie Taylor with the free kick. It's an interesting tackle from Pereira. Again, I feel that's from behind. Budaboos with a good cross, cleared away, nobody read it, in blue and white, Manny, played forward for Dini, he has to be offside, surely, doesn't matter anyway, Jay Fulton does well to get himself between him, uh, uh, the goal and Dini, poor first touch from Dini allowed him to get back, Dini ran out of options and eventually just shot for goal off him, corner kicks came and went with nothing. Budaboos again. Decent ball in for Jay Fulton. Away again. Cassadini heads down. Back for Budaboos. Charlie Taylor. Again, that's a crunching tackle from behind. Falls for Jay Fulton in the end. Just wide of the net. Few of the refs should be giving us so many free kicks here. And he's just not giving us them. Doesn't matter anyway. Pereira. Dini. Manny. Decent chance. Rhea tips it wide, I don't know if it was going in, but he made sure just in case. Corner kick to Watford. Gabby to take, and it goes again. And David Rhea comes out and marshals that six yard box well. Four minutes of injury time. Should hopefully be able to hold on. Cahill with a free kick on the edge of the halfway line. Capoue. Troy Dini. Ben Gibson gets there full time, oh, it was 2 minutes of injury time, I thought it was, I read 4 for some reason, doesn't matter, 2 goals from Paul McDonnell, enough to take us through, 2-0 victory here against Watford, uh, wins the draw, give me the dates please, we'll go forward to the draw here guys, and um, just quickly do that press conference, never heard of this guy, so we'll skip forward to the sixth round draw. We'll decide what game we do next then. Although I might just go with this Burnley game. It's a nice, quick, easy game. And it is probably a big game for our season away to our biggest rivals. And at the same time, it's a fairly good result-wise in terms of what we need for the table. To make sure we avoid relegation, we need to be beating teams like Burnley. So I might come back for that. Uh, but we'll see what the FA Cup draw, draw decides. Um, okay, glad you responded so well to that. I would have actually offered you a new contract if you didn't. So we should have the Cup draw now. Uh, where is it? Still not here. Here we go. View draw. So. Ten teams left to draw, okay. Is this quarter final stage? Yeah, why is it called sixth round and not quarter final? I don't get that. So Oh, they're taking Swindon or Birmingham. So we've got Bristol or Chelsea or Newcastle or Stoke. So don't give me Chelsea. Probably got to be away at Chelsea then guys. Hopefully Bristol City can pull off an upset, but it's quarter final, probably gonna be away at Chelsea. In the next round, that will be Sunday. 
somewhere. Fifteenth uh, of March, so that will be about here somewhere. I think we're playing Newcastle twice away from home in the Premier League. Uh, so I assume it's this game that it's talking about. I'm a bit confused. It even says that I can attend this match. Yeah, so it's here. It's this weekend where we're playing Newcastle. It's just been moved. It's just not updated. So we will come back for the Burnley game. That's what we'll do. We'll come back for the Burnley game, guys. Um, please join us for that. It's East Lancashire Derby, and I will catch you all next time.